Hi, I'm Anastasia. Have you seen the latest trending design bubble flowers or candy ball? Detailed tutorial coming up! To create this look, we will need color gel paints or gels, clear builder gel medium consistency, thick gel to secure the design, I'm using accents bling on, small silver caviar beads, plastic pearls, and rose opal rhinestones. And to do the bubble flower, you will need something sharp, or you can also use the smallest sides of the dotting tool and natural brush number one. First, we will dip the sharp side into the builder gel, wait until the drop sets, and then in LED I will constantly spin it so it cures like this, then I place it into the gel again, and while the gel is not cured yet, I will place few silver caviar beads and cure it again, do not forget to spin it all the time. And then I'm taking a pink gel and creating first two petals, one on the one side and another one on the other, and cure it again. After that, I will dip it in the clear builder gel, again spin it so it takes the nice rounded shape and curing the lamp by spinning it constantly. Then I'm doing the second row of the petals, I'm doing them on the other sides now, and also I'm doing them in a slightly different way, because in the flowers they are not usually perfectly symmetrical and all the same, so try to keep them a little bit different. Then we cure it and dip into the clear builder gel, spin it until it sets, and while you're curing also do not forget to spin it all the time. Then it is time for the next row and then we continue like this on and on until you are happy with the shape and the size of your flower. So the last step should be dipping it into the builder gel again, curing, and then we will need to seal it with a top coat, and while curing also do not forget to spin it all the time. And this is how the final look looks like. Now we have this 3D flower, so carefully remove it from the dotting tool or from the sharp object, and this is how they look when they're finished. And now let's set it into the nail. So first I will file one side with a 100 grit file, if you don't have electric file, then you simply need to hold it tight and file one side until it's flat, or you can use a carbide bead and do the same with electric file, you need to carefully hold it. We need to file it until one side is completely flat, so it will be much easier to secure it on the nail and also it will last longer. You can also do a slight curve on the other side if you already know where exactly you want to place your bead. But if you're holding it with your fingers, please be careful, because things may happen, just like it happened to me. It simply fell off. So please be careful, and I decided to use a tweezer instead with a napkin, and it is so much easier, because you don't need to hold it, it's secured well, and you can just relax and file until you're happy with the shape and the surface. So when you are done filing one side, do not forget to remove all the dust, and then I will use accents bling on to secure our freshly baked bubble flowers. So I apply this thick gel in the area where I want to apply the flower and carefully put it on. By the way, it is 
pretty light because it's made of gel so it's not as heavy as any different metallic or even rhinestone embellishments and it's not hard to secure them so then i decided to add another pink flower and also you can use glitter to put it inside you can do it without caviar beads inside it's really up to you so now we need to finish our composition so i will outline the flowers and add some pearls i'm using sphere pearls but you can also use the semi-sphere like the flat back ones and i think we need to add another one right here do not forget to apply gel first and also i think that silver caviar beads will look pretty right here so i'm adding them into the corners and a little bit around the flowers and i decided to add them right here in my composition and if you want to learn more how to secure rhinestones and caviar beads on the nail check out my playlist of it's all about the bling i will leave the link in the upper right corner while i was doing this composition i thought well yeah it looks nice but if we will add a few rhinestones it will never make it worse right so i decided to use the pink opal rhinestones i think they will perfectly match with this composition and add them slightly to the bottom but i will use the smaller size because we already have plenty of large objects here like flowers and pearls so if there's some extra gel just feel free to remove it with a napkin and here i'm applying gel and here goes the opal rose rhinestone this is ss5 size and here i will also add the smallest one which is swarovski ss3 so to secure them you need to cure it fully and then you can use the top coat and outline each object each detail to secure them even better so I'm finishing the composition, setting all the beads like I want them to be and add a couple here on top. And after fully curing, I will apply carefully top coat all around them. And like I said, you can outline each detail as well to secure them for a long time. So let me know, guys, what do you think? Making these bubble flowers is so much fun and honestly, it's so hard to stop. I was inspired when I first saw this tutorial by Japanese blogger. I will leave all the credits in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and I recommend you to try this design because it's really easy and fun to do it. Thank you and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye. Thank you.